when you remember yourself, best thing you can say, you can say you are a child of God. Can there be a satisfying answer to the question, who am I? Your name was given to you. Um, someone gave you the name. Something was prior to the name that could accept the impression of a name. So something received the name. Once the name came, settled, it never left you. It's there with you. Nobody yes. has to remind you. If you cannot forget that you are your name, your Christian name, okay, how much more can you forget that which was necessary to hold the name? So an idea came that I must remember what I am. And this idea believed in has eclipsed your intuitive knowledge that, you know, of course I cannot forget what I am. An idea that you can forget what you are replaced the idea that I am what I am and it cannot be forgotten. And so I need to do something to remember that I am the consciousness, which the forgetting and the remembering must necessarily take place in consciousness. The idea that I have to, be rem to remember that I am awareness which is the duty of awareness to remember itself, was a concoction created by the mind. Not by awareness. Awareness also cannot be perceived nor can it manifest without. Mind cannot manifest without awareness, you see. Listen to that. The idea that I must remember that I am the awareness was originated in the mind and it is remembered in the mind which itself arises in the awareness and you are the awareness this is the power of the mind you may say when believed in who believes in the mind the beingness believes in the mind what is this beingness the intuition the natural feeling I am that intuition, that sense, that beingness itself, you see, is the watcher of the mind itself. It is the original witness, it's the witness. It's the witnessing. It's that dynamic witnessing. But that witnessing, okay, that witnessing, is not the absolute witness because when you go to deep sleep you cannot witness anything you cannot witness any story you could go to bed with your freshly married husband and you cannot take him into that state with you you cannot take even God in this state with you the remembering you cannot even take I in that state with you. And you love deep sleep. You spend good money to buy a good bed, to get into the state where you forget everything, including yourself. And you love it. You love to be eyeless. Nobody buys a bed for dreaming. Dreaming is a second-class ticket. You buy a bed to forget everything completely, including your own existence. And in that space, you are refreshed. Your beingness, your body, mind and all your faculties are refreshed in total liquidation. So something is aware even of the sense, the intuition, I am. I am. The highest knowledge is that intuition, I am, which is synonymous with the original seer, the original witness, so to speak, which functions when consciousness is available, either in the form of the waking state or the dreaming state. But that consciousness that witnesses 
existence is not there in deep sleep state and yet something enjoys deep sleep I wonder what it is something enjoys deep sleep if you wake up in the morning and you be, your night is full of dream then you look a bit ragged grumpy when you go into total annihilation of any perception you come into real rest you wake up refreshed then the feeling I am is there again and then the me comes and then job and all behind something is there that sees without eyes silent it has no job, it has no tomorrow, it has no yesterday, has no intention, has no work to complete. It has no followers, it has no religion. Perfect, you see. You're that, you're there, and you're that, and there, here and now. Not as a gift, not as a consequence inevitably, undeniably, beyond any variation, you're here. This existence is for celebrating yourself. When you forget yourself, you bring in a taste of what you call suffering. Then you convert your I into an orphan. When you remember yourself, best thing you can say, you can say you're the child of God. When you witness this I amness state, you're beyond all. There are no words there, you cannot describe there. There's no night or day there, there's no life or death there. It's not stagnant or sterile, it's not a vacuum or a void. It simply is the womb of existence itself. Existence itself is taking its birth in you. <laughs>